So I'm starting to put my iMac back together again. Got my new hard drive on here. I'm sliding the main center piece here back in. This is the uh, CD, uh, CDR still. Uh, it's an RW, and then there's a, I got my brand new hard drive. I still have all my screws organized on my lid here. So you can see these are the ones that are going to connect the graphics clip. Then these are the outer ones once I put the lid back on, the part with the motherboard on it. And then these are the, the final ones come into play when I screw the, the unit back down. Let's get it going here. Again, they, they pro looks like they switched sizes. So the inside is looks like Torx 5, and the outer screws are all Torx 8. Now the tricky part will be when we get to receding the graphics power and IDE. It's easy to take those off, but it's going to be tough to align those again to get them all seated properly so that you get power and everything back together. Now make sure my heat shields are on. There we go. And I want to get these guys in. Okay, again, don't over tighten. This isn't a car, it's a computer. Okay, so what I'm aiming for right now is I have three connections I need to make. I'm going to be screwing this back down. That's my video. IDE and power. So I'm going to screw this down real quick and then we're going to put it all back together again. Okay, so again, this is our, going to be our only one fixed connection. So we're going to focus on that last. These we can simply just connect. So I'm putting that back in the longer one. There's a shorter one here that's for the graphics. And then this guy here, this power guy needs to go in here. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. So we're going to line up this with this little bar back here. And you're going to have to do it very precisely so that you don't break anything. So the easiest thing I do is I stand the computer up on its end. Now you're going to have a neck on here. So you're going to have to support the neck when you do this. And it's going to be in this orientation. Power's got a little bit of a pad on it. That's gonna cause you trouble. So you just have to gently push it down. And again, if you had the neck here, you'll be really holding it firm. Looking around all these edges here and making sure everything's lining up. And you shouldn't get have any play in it. And if you've done it very carefully, and you just push down gently, making sure that everything's closed up. Now you're in the home stretch. Now all you have to do is drop these four outer screws back in. And then our lid. And ideally you, if you're gonna orient yourself back here, Serial numbers tend to go towards the back of the computer anyway, so you just stick it like that. And if you move it around a little bit, you'll feel where those holes really line up. I'm going to switch to a smaller Phillips. It's just going to sit on your desktop, and that's it. That's it. 
you're done. You just flip it back up, plug it back in, turn it on. You can learn more about this and other tips at macusersguide.com's help desk or tune in every week to our podcast series.